Welcome back, Coach Skyler here. Learning all of these new sports has been super fun. It reminds me of all of the sports I got to learn as a young kid. Growing up, not only did I do Taekwondo, but I also played soccer, I did gymnastics, I did ballet, and all of these sports really shaped me into the athlete that I am today. Last week, I gave you all a clue on what sport we were gonna be playing today. The players dribble and the court has a key. Were you able to guess? That's right, it's basketball. I know you guys are gonna all love today's activity. So I'm gonna pass it over to my friends at the Toronto Pan Am Sports Center. The land I'm standing on today is the traditional territory of many nations, including the Mississaugas of the Credit, the Anishinaabek, the Chippewa, and the Haudenosaunee and the Wendat peoples is now a home to many diverse First Nations, Inuit, and Métis peoples. Hey everyone, my name is Kaylin. Today, along with Gio, we'll be teaching and demonstrating some basic basketball skills. The goal of the video is to introduce everyone to the sport of basketball and the equipment you will need to play the sport. We're gonna to start today with a general warm-up, then move to some stationary drills to demonstrate some of the basic skills. After that, we'll try and add movement to the skills to really challenge ourselves. Then, we'll have a challenge to see how much we've learned today. Finally, we'll finish with a cool down to relax the muscles. Before we begin, you will need properly fitted running shoes, loose fitting, unrestrictive clothing, a basketball, a water bottle filled with water to stay hydrated during the activity. Once you have all your equipment, let's get started. When we begin any physical activity, we always want to start with a general warm up. The warm up is an important part of the workout to prepare the body and reduce risk of injury. The purpose of the general warm up is to raise our body's temperature and increase our energy levels. A good indication of a proper general warm up is to start to build up a bit of a sweat. We're going to start out with a few basic exercises. Gio will complete the exercise by moving from the first cone to the second cone and back. The first exercise we have is a little skip. So Gia, could you show us a skip? Come on. Good job. Now one more time back that way. That was good. The second exercise we're going to do is a lateral skip with an overhead arm swing. So we're going to start at the first cone, skip over to the second cone, raising our arms as high as we could, and then skip back. Your turn, Gia. And now back. Good job. The next exercise we're going to do is high knees. So we're going to start at this cone. Do high knees all the way over to this cone and back. Your turn, Gia. Good job. Now back. Good job. The next exercise we have is butt kicks. So again, we're going to start at this cone and just go all the way over to this one and back. Your turn, Gia. Good job, now back. The next exercise we have is karaoke. There's two ways to do it. We can do it full speed, or if you're not as advanced, we can do it at a walking pace. So basically what you're gonna to wanna to do is bring your right foot over, back to square stance, and then left foot behind. So full speed, what it's gonna look like is this. And then back. All right, Gia. You want to help me with the walking version? Okay, so right foot over. And you're back. And then right foot behind. Go back. Over. Look, look. Go back. And now you're bringing that leg back this way. Yep, there you go. And then stand. Yep, there you go. Again, over and back. There you go, good job. How are we feeling, Gia? <laughs> At this time in the workout, you should begin to feel your body warming up and your energy levels rising. Once we've warmed up our body, we can begin to make our warm up more specific. As we progress with each warm up, the goal is to improve our mobility and prepare our muscles and joints for basketball drills. Gio will complete each dynamic exercise by moving from the first cone to the second cone and back. 
So the first exercise is going to be ankle holds. So you're going to grab one ankle and pull, and then take a couple steps. Grab the other ankle and pull, take a couple steps until you reach the cone, and then you're going to go back. Okay? Give it a try, Gia. Good job. All right, now back to the other cone. Good job. The next exercise we're gonna do is knee hugs. So we're gonna start at this cone over here, grab our knee, pull all the way up, take a couple steps, and then do the other side. And we're gonna do that until we get to this cone where we'll turn around and go back. Your turn, Gia. Good job. Now back. Good job. The next exercise we have are hamstring sweeps. So what we're going to do is put one foot in front of the other and sweep down. Take a couple steps and do the same with the other side. We're going to do that until we reach this cone again. Turn around and do the same thing. Okay, Gia, your turn. Good job. There you go. Now turn around and do the same thing. Good job. Our last exercise is going to be lunge walks. So again, we're going to start at this cone. We're going to lunge all the way forward, go up, take a couple steps, and lunge with the other leg. And then we're going to do the same thing going back. So right leg, and then our left leg. Okay, Gia, your turn. Good job. Now the other way. Good job, Gia. High five. Now that we've completed the warm-up, we want to begin getting comfortable with the basketball. These drills will give us a good feel for the basketball and help us feel comfortable handling it. So the first drill we have, what we're going to do is take the ball, keep it in front of us, and pass it quickly back and forth, only using our fingertips. It's okay, try again. There you go. Good job, Gia. The second drill that we'll be doing is ball circles. So we're going to start by taking the ball and bringing it all the way around our waist. And from that, what we also want to do is bring it around our head to around our waist and around our knees. If you can't do that, then take the ball and put it on the floor. You want to put the ball on the floor, Gia? And what we're going to do is make circles around our body. and then go the other way. There you go. So now we're gonna try some passing. What we're gonna to wanna to do is line up with a partner. And for this, we're gonna do passes first. So you're gonna to wanna to step forward, extend your arms and bounce it so that the ball lands at their chest. You ready, Gia? Okay. You do that bounce pass back to me now. That's a chest pass. We'll do that after. So try a bounce pass first, okay? Good job. One more time. 
There you go. And now we'll do a chest pass. Ready? So same concept, you're gonna step forward, extend your arms, and pass the ball to your partner's chest. Ready, Gia? Good job. Pass back now. Good pass. One more time. Good pass. And if you don't have a partner, you can use a wall, a solid wall. Just pass to yourself with a bounce pass or a chest pass. Do you want to try that, Gia? Try a bounce pass to the wall. OK. Remember to step forward when you do it, OK? It's gone a little too far. Come this way. OK. Turn to the wall. Step forward. Pass. There you go. So now we're going to try some ball handling and dribbling. So what we're going to do is with our right hand, knees bent, chest up, eyes forward, we're going to try dribbling. All right, Gia? Try dribbling. Good job. And same thing with our left hand. If you can't keep your eyes up, it's OK. But what we want to try and do is keep our eyes up, not looking at the ball so we can see the entire court. You want to try a crossover? All right, let's try a crossover. Good job, Gia. So we've arrived at the final part of our workout, the real basketball drills. In this section, we'll review dribbling and passing drills and then add movement to make it a little more challenging. All right, Gia. You want to try the right hand dribble again? Remember, keep your knees bent, chest up, and eyes forward if you could. And now the left hand. Okay, so now we're gonna come over here, Gia. <laughs> yep, exactly. What we're gonna do is a right hand dribble from this cone all the way to this cone, and then a right hand dribble back. Good job. Could you do that one more time? <laughs> right hand dribble. Good job. And then a right hand dribble back. No, oh, right hand. Good job, Gia. And now, do you want to try left hand too? So left hand, we're going to go left hand. To cone all the way over here. And then left hand dribble back. Yep. Remember to try and keep your eyes up, your knees slightly bent, and your chest forward. Now what we're going to do is some passing drills. Where we're going to, re we're going to review stationary passing. So remember, foot forward, arms extended, you're going to bounce the ball to the partner's chest. You remember all that, Gia? Good pass. One more time, OK? Good job. Now we're going to try doing it while we're sliding over, OK? Let's go. That's a chest pass. Bounce pass, OK? Let's try again. Good pass. Good pass, Gia. Now we're going to try with chest passes, OK? So remember, again, foot forward, arms extended. You ready? OK, here you go. Good pass. Now can you do it while we're sliding? OK, let's try. Good pass. One more pass, OK? Good passage, yeah. If you don't have a partner at home, what you could do is use a solid wall and just pass to yourself. You want to try, Gia?
Move a little closer to the wall. Now slide the other way. Good job. <laughs> so next what we're gonna do is go cone to cone with the crossover. If you remember from earlier, for a crossover, same thing as the right and left hand dribble, you want your knees bent, chest up, and what you're gonna do is bring it from one hand to the other. You wanna try that, Gia? Okay. Good job. And remember, if you could, keep your eyes up as a way to challenge yourself a little more. So Gia, we're gonna start at this cone over here. And we're gonna do crossovers all the way across. Okay, do you wanna try doing a crossover that way now? Okay, go ahead. And now back. That's really good. Now we're gonna have a challenge that everyone at home can try. The challenge involves doing as many crossovers as you could in 15 seconds. You ready, Gia? Okay, ready? <laughs> Remember to keep your chest up and your knees slightly bent. If you wanna challenge yourself, again, keep your eyes up. And that's 15 seconds. Good job, Gia. High five. When we finish any physical activity, we want to end with a cool down. The cool down is an important part of the workout to help reduce the heart rate, relax the muscles used during the drills. We're going to start out with static stretching to relax our muscles. Gia will complete the movement from the first to the second cone and back. So Gia, you're going to start at this cone. Hold your leg and stretch like that, okay? Stretch all the way up and then stretch all the way up. Okay, make sure you go back and forth between your legs. Good job, Gia. For the next cool down, we're gonna do a hamstring stretch. So we're gonna start at this cone, put one leg out, toes pointed up, and reach and touch. And take a couple steps forward and do the same with the other leg. Okay, Gia. And back to this cone now. Good job. The last cool down we're gonna do is for our calves. So for this stretch, we're gonna go down and get one foot on top of the other and try and push our heel to the floor. Once you do that on one foot for a while, switch legs and get the other side. You feel a stretch? Good. This concludes our basketball fundamentals video. We hope you enjoyed participating in the drills and that the new skills you've learned inspire you to pick up the sport. Good job, Gia. Wow, you all did amazing. You're quite the ballers. Next week, our session's gonna be all about movement. See you Thursday.